Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got another engineering fail slash rant video, whatever you want to call it. So we're working on a Dodge Journey. This is a Chrysler product. It's a 2.4 liter engine. And the customer calls me up and says he has a coolant leak. So we went ahead and we pressure tested everything. And this is what we come to find out. Now I'm going to get you guys zoomed in on the engine here. So sorry if the camera kind of moves uh, erratically here. Hopefully I don't give anyone a headache. But now that we're in there you guys can basically see the heater hose junction and you can see where our heater hoses go into the firewall now the thing that has failed here and this is probably the worst of it is that if you guys kind of pay attention here i'm going to use this pointer this whole junction from this clamp to oops sorry about that guys the camera just kind of fell out of there this clamp to here on this clamp is supposed to be attached there is a plastic connector here the plastic connector has failed because one there's hot coolant flowing through this plastic connector and secondly if you guys look just below here there's a catalytic converter that thing gets really really hot and these fittings are right above it so no wonder the plastic broke and snapped and failed now let me take you guys over to the bench and i'll show you on the new part exactly where it failed and how it failed so now I have you guys at the bench and the way that this works now, this whole thing is not needed, but unfortunately Chrysler being great and since this is a rant video, I will mention this too. You cannot buy separate pieces off of this. You got to buy the whole thing. Um, so this whole piece here is called a heater hose assembly and it costs around $200 and some change. Uh, it may vary depending on where you live, but this one was around 200 bucks here where we're at. So what failed on this, if you guys, let me just get these things separated here. What failed on them is right here, guys. If you guys will notice is they use this little T-fitting and then they mold the hose that goes inside the heater core. Now this is a plastic design. And this thing lives right above the catalytic converter that probably gets up to a thousand degrees, if not more. And they put this plastic in line right here what happens over the years is just a heat kind of swells in there from the outside and then the heat inside the pipe from the hot coolant gets in there too and it just makes this hard and brittle and it just snaps right there where all the pressure is from the clamp that's what failed on our car now this is a really bad design guys not just in the sense that it's made out of plastic but secondly they make you buy this whole piece which is just a waste of money and thirdly if you notice one more thing here this top heater hose that goes to the heater core they didn't put a clamp on it they put these little plastic connectors if this thing doesn't break from here at one of these fittings it will start leaking from here eventually and the seal just goes away I wish they had made this serviceable. They could have made this piece out of metal, aluminum, like the rest of the line is. And it could have just had clamps and you could have serviced it in the T-fitting. That would have probably cost about 5 or $10 from Chrysler. But no, they do this idiotic way of, you know, having this thing connected. It's just a really bad engineering flop and it's a fail in my book. I mean, I don't mind these because I do get to do them and, you know, they are money makers because it is uh, not cheap to get this line and you know labor on it i think pays about an hour and a half two hours i believe so it's not bad pay but at the end of the day it's just a really horrible design i really wish they would get this you know situated and stop making crap like this this is a very common theme now i have a bunch of videos uh i think three or four now that cover these engineering fails and most of them are basically parts failing because they're made out of plastic and this is no less than that exception. It's also a plastic part that fails. So that's my rant, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It should be a quick, short video. I know it's not a typical repair video, but I just wanted to mention this to you guys. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you like the content. It'll definitely help my channel grow. And with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you guys on the next repair.